Well, it looks like the weathermen were wrong again. Another cloudy, coldy, coldy, cloudy, coldy, whatever, day. Damn it. Well, it might, maybe it'll brighten up, I don't know. But instead of going to the park like I originally planned, uh, we're going to go to Science World because it's just an easy thing to do all day with the kids. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So, good morning, guys. Kids are still sleeping, or maybe they're not sleeping, they're just laying in bed, who knows. But, um, so, they're like the only four and two year old that I've ever met that sleep in until like nine. I'm, even like during my teens, <laughs> I couldn't sleep until nine. I was like the exact opposite. I woke up at like five in the morning. Well, that's because like I worked at my bakery and that requires like insanely early morning, so. Yeah, so I was always up at like whatever, four in the morning to go to work at the bakery. So it was just kind of weaving into my blood to have early mornings. So I was usually only up at like six or something like that, unless I was like super tired. Then maybe I slept until eight. But I remember only like once or twice of me being able to sleep in until like 10. <laughs> so seeing as we're going to Science World, I need to check and uh, see how much money I have on my compass pass. Uh, because if I don't have any money, then we can't go on the bus. And if we can't go on the bus, it looks like we're walking. That's a long walk. <laughs> hey, I should have money on it. $20. Yeah, that's more than enough. We could go there and back and there and back and there and back about five times. I'm starting to hear slight movement upstairs, but I don't think it's anything wild and crazy. So seeing as the kids are still sleeping, I'm gonna pack. <clears throat> that way I don't have to worry about them arguing or anything like that while I'm trying to pack. I can do it and get it done and out of the way, and then I won't have to worry about it. When they wake up, we can just do breakfast, get them dressed, and then head on out, which is awesome. Try and spend the full day there. Chris has a bunch of phone calls and stuff like that that she has to go, has to go make, and she has a couple meetings she has to go to, so she's gonna be doing that and have a busy day, so she wants the kids completely out of the house, so she can do that, and so that's what I'm gonna do today, just get them as far away from this place as possible. <laughs> It's time to play the game called Find okay. the Matching Tupperware. It's my favorite. The kids are just watching some cartoons for, I'm still kind of getting ready here and there. Um, so we've got a couple, couple other things. Chris is upstairs doing one of her Telephone meetings that she's on, one of her conference meetings or whatever they're called. Um, and then she has to go out and do more meetings, but we'll be gone by then. So, yeah, what do I need to grab? What else do I need? Oh, yeah, hummus. Hummus for the veggies. Oh, yeah, let Lizzie use the stool. Whoa. Look at I picked up a I picked up a couple lemurs on the way to Science World. One of them is a little bit too short. Okay, let's go get some milkshakes. All right, actually we have to eat actual lunch first. Sorry, she doesn't want you looking at it. Can you show the camera after? Sure. Sure, okay, she'll show you after. So it's a surprise, you have to wait and it'll keep you in suspense. Okay, please, please do it oh. that way. Oh, 
You want Wait, to look at me? How about up there? Wait. And Jack's down there, the, he's the control man of the situation. <laughs> what, what about moving number, the other one? That one. There you go. <laughs> Science world isn't too bad today. It's a little bit busy, but it's not. It's like the perfect amount of busy. It's not insane, but it's not like extra crazy either. Not done? No, not yet. <laughs> um, so, it's so fun. Not like the last time we came here. The last time we came here, it was very unenjoyable because of how busy it was. Okay. Goodbye, no, no. Grandma. Ooh, that's a really cool one. That's the best one we've done, I think. Yeah. This one you're with me. Okay, guys. I found some little beavers hiding in a log. Oh, I see the beavers. I see one beaver. <laughs> and then there's another beaver crawling up the stairs. Let's go look at their house. Oh, beaver one and little beaver two. His mom. Oh, okay, sorry. There might be ants? Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, I'm. Um, beavers, uh, beavers eat the ants. Beavers eat fish, usually. Oh no. <laughs> tiny baby one. Oh, there's a little tiny baby one. Yeah, I like beavers. Mm, do I you? like baby beavers. Do you? Yeah, and penguins. Baby He's beavers. Tiny. Oh, I think Jack went to go look at the dinosaurs. Let's go look at him. This way. This way. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay, come on. Let's go. Wow. So the kids and I are hang heading up to the big uh, amphitheater to go watch um, an outer space show. Come here, Liz. Come on, let's go. So we're heading all the way up to the top to like the you know the dome, you've guys seen the outside of the science world before. Uh, the massive dome that's turned into a big Omniax theater. So that's where we're heading. It's a bit of a hike up, so. And plus it lets the kids burn off some energy running up the ramp. So, it's always a positive thing. Come on, let's go. That is up there about 20 minutes. Takes us about 20 minutes to reach the top. Not quite that long. Five. But well, it's a pretty cool theater. I'll show you the inside once we get there. Can you get started? Close, close, not quite. So me and the kids have been back from Science World for, I don't know, what time is it? Eight o'clock already, holy crap. So for a couple hours anyways, and uh, so they're upstairs relaxing in bed with Christine. Oh, I'm downstairs relaxing with my main dog, Sid. Uh, George has gone somewhere. I have no idea where. It was a really fun day. There was like the perfect amount of people there. It wasn't too busy. And yeah, it got a little hectic about lunchtime-ish when there's a couple schools or daycares or something along those lines that showed up. And uh, 
So it was a little bit busy for like, it felt like an hour or so, and then it started to lighten up. So maybe it was two hours. I don't know. Um, but me and the kids got there good and early, so we had like a few or a couple hours of just like dead, and then it got busy for like two hours, and then we had from like around shortly after lunchtime to until like five or something like that when we left to veg out and chill. So. Or not chill, but like where it was dead. So yeah, yeah, it was a good day. It was a fun day. Uh, a lot more interesting than these past vlogs. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? On that note, guys, I am heading to bed. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, click that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. I guess it's the other way around, because the subscribe button's over here. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook and on Twitter at Dozer Vlogs. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>